The Maricopa County Community College District is threatening to sue the county and it could force the community colleges to raise tuition or cut programs. The ABC 15 investigators have the $45 million impact that could end up in a court battle. Well, it's certainly not our preferred choice. She's talking about this eight page notice of claim. We spent a lot of time attempting to get information and trying to work with the county. But when that didn't work, Board President Susan Bitter Smith says the Maricopa County College District made a difficult decision and is now threatening to sue its own county over a tax dispute. We have filed a notice of claim against the county to see if we can resolve this issue. The Maricopa Community Colleges are trying to resolve a $45 million tax bill it now owes, stemming from a 2016 lawsuit and a property tax error it didn't cause. Which is a very significant amount for the Community College District. At the center of all this is a recent tax court ruling where a judge found the county overtaxed some property owners when their home went from a primary residence to a rental or vice versa. Property taxes are a large part of the Maricopa Community College District's budget. The county unfortunately failed to notify us until after the judgment was issued and after our budget was approved. Leaving Maricopa Community Colleges with few options. And it says the county has now started taking the money they owe out of their bank account. Extremely frustrating. There's been a great deal of angst, a great deal of fear on the board's part. And as we've previously reported, it's not just this one taxing district having to come up with millions in a single year. The county treasurer estimates it will have to pay back more than $300 million in property tax refunds. Hundreds of millions of dollars taxing districts across the county are now on the hook to repay. 164,000 property owners will receive from the bucket about $350 million. Maricopa County Assessor Eddie Cook was not in office when it happened, but inherited the impacts of the lawsuit. The county assessor, in my opinion, did not make a mistake in the 2016 time frame. I believe the judge was incorrect in the ruling. Did the county do everything it could to fight this lawsuit and this ruling? I wasn't here when that happened. I believe that we could have been better. Cook didn't hold back during an interview back in June, but his opinion doesn't change the millions of dollars Maricopa Community Colleges and other taxing districts are having to pay back. Clearly, the last thing they want to do is to raise tuition. Our goal here is to provide affordable educational services for our constituents. The Community College District's notice of claim says the way the county is recouping these funds is unfair. Maricopa County says it doesn't comment on potential litigation. You should also know the Board of Supervisors did come up with funding to help pay the tax bill owed by fire districts in Maricopa County, but said that money was only going to districts who relied solely on property tax revenue. We will stay on top of this. I'm investigator Jennifer Kowaleski, ABC 15, Arizona.